I'm sitting for two reasons. One is uh, it's a general wear and tear. And I also want to just sound a little bit like a news item. <coughs> I have a letter from Herr Hitler. There will be no problem. <coughs> so, Tatter de Mille, I'll read uh, a few pieces from this and then move on. Uh, it, it's almost 200 pages, but you can actually read this book in 40 minutes. It's, uh, one of the things I was trying to work with is, uh, is really uh, condensed text that will very quickly. But what I decided to do is read some of the longer ones. Um, the first one that I will read is from um, the Directoire. Um, all of these are names that I found in the Buffalo Telephone Directory that were then grouped and um, uh, given extremely imaginative titles and become extremely beautiful ones. As you know, I agree with that. Ornithology. Robert Flock. Carmen Flitter. Jeffrey Feather. Mark Bunting. Alicia Birdson. Narcotics. Charles Weed. John Roach. Piscatory. L.A. Poole. Arthur Pond. <coughs> Daniel Creek, Dolores Fish, <laughs> Brenda Rivers, Catherine Lake, and Flood. Classics, Dwayne Beckett, Joshua Dickens, Angela Faulkner, James Hemingway, Michael Milton, Georgette Stein. Landscape with Motion, Elizabeth Foote, Mark Gravel, Anthony Street, Kimberly Walker. Progression, G. Kind, Drew D. Kinder, <laughs> Charles Best, Pastoral Landscape in French, La Flamme M, La Fleur, David M, La Fontaine, J. La Forest, A.J. La Fosse, Carmen. La Fountain, Charles E. Predator, Andrew Lamb, Charles Fox. <laughs> Martyrology with British content. Walter S. Blaze, Christopher Burns. <laughs> Elegy Progressive. M.L. Coffin. R. L. Berry, Diane Graves, and finally, Chromatic Spectrum, Judith Black, Cassandra Blue, Catherine Brown, Amanda Gray, Angela Green, Kathleen White. And does that make you want to come and live in Buffalo? <laughs> I try to invent new subgenres here. There's a, a series called Cowboy Poems uh, within it. But this one is um, three poems deliberately spelt wrong. <laughs> setting in a city, inwardly. Two 
is to a clown, to background out the predicate predicament particularized in nouns, not names. Three is to the verb shut and shut upon, upon a pan apparent in CH3, COOH, the walk, the reflex, the shout, shot towards, incipit, Warringer analysis baked in a ridiculous incline. So how came the unimaginable energy emerging unimaginable? Incredibly edible poem with British and American content. So if you know some contemporary titles, this may make sense. My life in my Emily Dickens, the alphabet of contents dream. Self-confidence in a convex mirror. So shut up on social didacticism. Total syntax in the panopticon of method. A little north of intention as the crow flies over the fading light at set uh, of the fading light at send over Edwin Drood and his merry men. But now his specimen days are numbered. Popsicles, fascicles, testicles, something to suck on. <laughs> Through a gap in the Renaissance called the City Walls, the reader reaches the Capella della Poema entrancy included in the World Prose Ticket. This poem is the reason for coming to literature in the first place. Entrance is gained through a new airlock system recently installed in an attempt to reverse the damage caused to the poem by high levels of humidity borne by the breath and clothing of its readers. The glass door to the waiting room slides open to admit each group of allocated readers. Once inside, a high-tech system adjusts the air humidity of the waiting room down to the level of the chapel itself and filters away the worst of spores and pollution. Forty minutes later, another door leading to the chapel itself opens and the reader has exactly 14 minutes to read the poem before being ejected through a third glass door back into the main room of the library. Visits are restricted to a maximum of 25 readers at a time and given the popularity of the poem, it is advised to book at least three years in advance. <laughs> If any of you have been to Padova and to see the Giotto frescoes uh, in the chapel there, this is basically the description of what you go through to. A couple more and then Death after writer's block. When I got back on a roll, they turned me into a sandwich. On first listening to Croce's aesthetics. The difference between art and something else is A, the recognition of consciousness as an emptied function, but of what? B, the conviction that absolute interest is a string of movies related to several languages, but which? C, the distinction between nothing happening and the presence of scatological speech patterns in an enigmatic understanding of identity as heterobiography, but when and where. Conclusion of a novel. And the angel watched the plane in its final flight into that tall glass tower and sister to the one its own sister hit now lost in smoke. And the angel turned to God and sighed and said, if only I had such wings. A poem written after death, or Dante's Ante's Inferno. I died, but had been very good, but it was bad weather in heaven, fog and cold with hailstones the size of the SUV that drove me subsequently and voluntarily to hell. <laughs> and the last one from this uh, example of a pataphysical poem. 
Uh, pataphysics is the, uh, the science of imaginary solutions. And it was invented by Alfred Jarry uh, early in the 20th century. Example of a pataphysical problem. Lines 1 to 13 on loan to the Museum of Modern Art. Lines 14 to 179 on loan to the Prado Madrid. Line 180, destroyed. Line 181, language as such. The Museum of Promiscuity attempts to fold your skin into phonemic equivalents. Landscape here is a table, sometimes filled with everything that's preconceptual. Imagine, for instance, Groucho Marx as an ambiguity valve in all the recuperative possibilities of the multiple replicas of Andy Warhol's face, staring at the contrary fascism of the binary bungalow regulation. New bacteria arrive by sea on square-base correlation questionnaires known as counterfeit substitutions, while back in metaphysics, revolution reappears as the simulacrum's own revenge. It's always 4 p.m. in this classic sector of disjunction, but after cross-dressing a tree to look like its park, some exotic reciprocity at the MoMA takes the form of a 21st century thumbprint on a high-rise building made entirely of chocolate. All the barricades around the incest form a subtle architectural disguise. The Brancacci Chapel, perhaps, where Christ raises Tabitha for sport. This axis visualis phase carries one to where Palestinians are caught in the repressive diffractions of a post-digital unholiness program. Yet God still can't be equated with any ready-at-hand superstructural dominant. Is there still time as a warm breeze enters the room where Bernard Chumi thinks he's Hegel? Perverse. Voluptuous reads off classic volapuk, and such self-reflexive, uh, sorry, start again. Voluptuous reads off classic volapuk, and such self-reflexiveness permits the pharmacon to happen. Cognitive with its visible condition, it reassures the rearrangement of our myths as tiny six-legged exegeses in a stuttering closer to slides and caresses of the incommunicable than a tissue or garment in arbitrary genus around some species named God. Truth is not a reclining nude, as simple as Nietzsche descending a staircase. Its form is curved, made tangible, the time Picasso was 60 and before anatomy. Monotheism always implicates the polyvocal. It requires its apostles and saints, traits genetically linked to an undressed or undersized monad situated in the disintegrations of its numerous trace systems. Sadomasochism, power, marginal theoretical works on the crucifixion before Pascal. Its litany formulates as communal phrases, quote, have a nice cancer, unquote, quote, do you ever see smells, unquote, quote, does the mind divide into four separate epochs, unquote. Chronotopes withdraw behind a static geometricality, the circle called function, the ellipsoids termed void. Quincunx and sycophant, two simultaneities in intimacy, a modem of the new utopia, and all the way out to a generic end. Imagine God as anything other than an atheist. Perversion as a simple equation of exigency and existence. What disintegrates requires the system it transgresses. A disposition to react beneath the level of the anaclytic propagation. Zucker, working in the New Wave Cinema, or Diamant Berger's 1921 version of The Three Musketeers, form a vicious circle, marking the casuist caught in a complex molecular monstrosity. The libertine, at a standstill, waits for a footnote to simply happen in a text not written for reading. Neanderthal 
in seconds. The speech takes form as an etiology of asceticism, a cave birth after the Christ event. Or was it earlier when sodomy emerged at Altamira in the south as a national continuation of ecstasy, obsessive depravity already composed? It is not outside, not between, but a central rhythm in its myth and surpassing its materiality. Disintegration of the entire science system transcends by apathy in cold blood, by the evolution of a testicle close to depraved tenderness. How to be an apostle of short circuitries whenever a simulacrum of horror needs autonomous revulsion? Give it that, and the saint emerges from the libertine, erect, tacit, and unspeakable. And I will finish on a mercifully lighter note with um, a few pieces from a book I, I did, a, a collaboration with uh, Alan Howes called Paradigm of the Tinctures. Uh, I know that not many of you have because it came out in 50 copies and it sold for $1,000. Uh, although many of you may have actually seen the free version because it's, it is as an e-book. Uh, and I think it is. I never remember the press. It's Ar Ar Argotists, I think it is. So, uh, so Paradigm of the Teachers, it's there. Uh, Alan actually produced beautiful visual collages, and I wrote poems in, respect, uh, in response. Uh, we mixed that up a little bit. I would send a poem to Alan, and he would do a visual. Unfortunately, the visuals aren't here, uh, and neither is Alan, but, uh, but the poems are. So. The week that was, it could be upside down for all I know. Perhaps due to psychic paratactic abnormality, it's really present-day Boston superimposed upon the Treaty of Versailles. Turn it sideways, nothing happens. Alter an oxymoron bars or certain spots. A constant movement of impingements detached from the memory gland. The seven deadly sins spotted from the air in a Connecticut landscape in Derbyshire diagonal to a recent croissant franchise. These and other quotable possibilities. Yet from it all, we realize that moving sideways is an alternative to being Saturday. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. <laughs> Ephemera. What's this? Looks like a millennium for maximum embarrassment, and quite proteiform in its lack of politesse. An obsequious curling to the new philosophy of counter-subterfuge, but whatever it's doing, it's doing it in secret. Perhaps it's just shot a pragmatist through an organ of transmission, or got hired as a transitory hieroglyph. It looks too paranoid to have never read the Bible. Or is it an island? shy enough to not become an archipelago, or perhaps a genetic mutation right in the walls of the divine city. Imagine it saying that before it came to grammar. As a micro particle of order, it was a thought in the head of William Blake. Reverence always beckons emblems to its new Atlantis to reconnoiter the several incapacities that seal a fate as noise. <laughs> Oedipus meets the abstract machine. I love you too, if I'm endorsed by global information. All these little jobs of enjoyment popping up, so much ancient wisdom in marble. Meanwhile, back in a poem by Clark Coolidge, I'm Johnny Greendoors, the clown chowder savant clean out of Intellicus. Arthur Danto enters, orders a regular recent Chardonnay, then spills philosophy on his corner shirt. Yes, south is east for him in his sort of sheriff's pants, or maybe not when he's got a footnote for a footstool. Smells like a huckleberry Nissan up your nose. Nope, I'll try again through ethical theory. Maybe someone somewhere is happening out there right now. Seems the image turns out to be an odd text full of reception theory, and that'll throw a challenge to the salmon samplers. Develops, I'm told, out of the nomadic synagogues. Want some? It sure beats at Francis in the throat. Better ask the reindeer salesman in next door. Now, that's what I call style, and a human action 
explains it. And I will finish with the view from here. At 4 p.m., Dante starts editing his copy of the anti Durham as a thought carries him to Mozart composing his last symphony in Vienna. Via the metapoetics of illogical space, the sound daffodil becomes intangible, caught in the fact that the rose was obsolete, is now obsolete. The train, once standing at a, stench, uh, at a st sentence, th uh, sorry. the train, once standing at sentence three, demands a reader's temporality exceed the speed of all operative systems aggregates. Dachau, however, remains the single doorstep into Shelley's essay in defense of poetry. There are rock doves in the grass, alas, combines the sum total of allowable intertextual relationships to modernism and marriage. Myutic theory must be cautious here of the teleology of Maryland, but there still is daylight savings time in the book of Marjorie Kemp. In the attic, the Soviet dominant gathers artifice. Anarchy embraces sentimentality as concern switches from the palm to cholesterol, and Saddam Hussein changes his name back to J. Alfred Proof. Thank you.